key of David, I invoke and activate a fiery cloak of invisibility over my heart, mind, body, and my spirit. I silence every voice of Satan, every voice that is in opposition of the Most High Father's plan and timing. And I just utterly deny Satan access to any communication, anything that he has no right or no access to. I just utterly refuse him in Christ Yeshua and Hamashiach's Almighty name. I just place a, papil a pavilion of peace over each and every one of us in our hearts, our minds, our bodies, our spirits. And just standing on Father's promises that he is faithful. And so um, I'm just coming on out of obedience to the Most High Father. So this morning I, w I was in prayers and I just asked Father if he had a word. So I opened my Bible randomly to... I just opened it up and it landed on Ezekiel chapter 7. And so Ezekiel chapter 7 in my Bible is on page 994. So in Strong's Concordance, when I looked it up, one side means to call out, I shout, call aloud, to proclaim, to make an urgent distress and call, shouting with intense feeling. So I'm going to come on and I'm going to read this and just whoever it speaks to, you know, who you are, where you fall in this, but it also is going to invoke some self-reflection, some introspection at this time, trying to fear, see where you fall within this range. And I'm going to leave it at that uh, for now, and um, I'll explain some more at the end, but I'm just going to read it. It has 27 verses, so just bear with me as I read, but you're more than welcome to read along. I'm just going to read from the King James Version. It says... Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Also thou son of man, thus saith the Lord God, unto the land of Israel, and end. The end is come upon the four corners of the land. Now is the end come upon thee. And I will send mine anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways. And I will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. And mine eye shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity. But I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thine abominations shall be in the midst of thee. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, and evil, and only evil, behold, is come. An end is come. The end is come. It watches for thee. Behold, it is come. The morning is come unto thee. O thou that dwellest in the land, the time is come. The day of trouble is near, and not the sounding again of the mountains. Now will I shortly pour out mine fury upon thee, and accomplish mine anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense thee for all thine abominations. And my eyes shall not spare, neither will I have pity. I will recompense thee according to thy ways, and thine abominations that are in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am the Lord that smiteth. Behold the day, behold, it is come. The morning is gone forth, the rod hath blossomed, pride hath budded. Violence is risen up into a rod of wickedness. None of them shall remain, nor of their multitude, nor of any of theirs. Neither shall there be wailing for them. The time is come, the day draweth near. Let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn, for wrath is upon all the multitude thereof for the seller shall not return to that which is sold although they were yet alive for the vision is touching the whole multitude thereof which shall not return neither shall any strengthen himself in the iniquity of his life they have blown the trumpet even to make all ready but none goeth to the battle for my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof the sword is without and the pestilence and the famine within he that is in the field shall die with the sword, and he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. But they that escape of them shall escape, and shall be on the mountain like doves of the valleys, of them mourning every one for his iniquity. All hands shall be feeble, and all knees shall be weak as water. They shall also gird themselves with sackcloth, and horror shall cover them, and shame shall be upon all faces, and baldness upon all their heads. They shall cast their silver in the streets, and their gold shall be moved. Their silver and their gold shall not, excuse me, shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord. 
they shall not satisfy their souls, neither fear their bowels, because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. As for the beauty of his ornament, he set it in majesty, but they made the images of their abominations and of the detestable things therein. Therefore have I set it far from them. And I will give it into the hands of the strangers for a prey, and to the wicked of the earth for a spoil, and for they excuse me, and they shall pollute it. My face will I turn also from them, and they shall pollute my secret place. For the robbers shall enter into it and defile it. Make a chain, for the land is full of bloody crimes, and the city is full of violence. Wherefore I will bring the worst of the heathen, and they shall possess their houses. I will also make the pomp of the strong to cease, and their holy places shall be defiled. Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be upon rumor. Then shall they seek a vision of the prophet, but the law shall perish from the priests, and the counsel from the ancients. The king shall mourn, and the prince shall be clothed with desolation, and the hands of the people of the land shall be troubled. I will do unto them after their way. According to, the de to their deserts will I judge them, and they shall know that I am the Lord. And so that is the end of Ezekiel chapter 7. And as I was saying before, this is a time of, let's examine our hearts. Let's examine our hearts. Verse 19 specifically speaks of that gold and silver, that is their stumbling block. Are you in the position of serving the Most High Father and trying to serve mammon as well? Putting the things of this world, the money and things before the Most High Father. Examine your hearts because at this hour, Father is speaking to his children about this wealth transfer. And it's not just about money, but about the abundance in the spirit, this outpouring, this overflow as he sets up his kingdom reign on the earth. Your heart has to be in the right place, ready to receive what the Most High Father is blessing his children with. But not just that, it says the day of trouble is come, it is near. Are you ready? The trumpets have been sounding. The priests have been sounding the alarm. People have been spreading the messages. Are you listening or tuning them out? Are you saying, oh, that will happen, but not in my lifetime? Where are you in this? The Most High Father is speaking loud and clear. People are looking for him in ways they're putting the father in a box. They're limiting his manner of speech. Father can speak using anything. Are you listening? Are you in a place in which you have separated yourself from the world to be able to hear him, to see his voice, excuse me, to see his signs, to hear his voice? Sharpening your vision and the discernment in the spirit. Let us examine our hearts and see where we truly fall. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Let's check ourselves at the door. Where do you fall? Where are you? And I'm going to end it right there. I just leave everything. I just seal everything that I say with the, with the blood of the Lamb, Christ Yeshua, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Love you all in Christ. Holy Jeshaya.